In this example, we have a system of linear equations written out, and we want to figure out what the augmented matrix is for this system. And remember, an augmented matrix includes all of the coefficients on the left-hand side for each one of these equations, as well as all of the constant terms on the right-hand side, unlike the coefficient matrix, which only includes the left-hand side. So in this augmented matrix, we're going to include numbers from both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So whenever we try to write a system of linear equations into a matrix, we want to look at how many equations there are and how many unknown variables there are. And that's what's going to tell us how big our matrix is going to be. So in this system of linear equations, we have three equations, right? We have equation one, equation two, and equation three. And the number of equations tells us how many rows our matrix has to have. So three equations means there's going to be three rows. Now, the number of unknown variables tells us how many columns we're going to have. But we have to be a little bit careful here because since we're doing an augmented matrix, we're including an additional column here. So we have to count the number of unknown variables and then we have to add one to that number because we have this column right here. And this is only because we're writing an augmented matrix. So in these equations, we have the unknown variable x1, we have x2, we have x3, and we have x4. And those are seen throughout all of these equations. So we have four unknowns. But since we're including this column right here, we need to add one to it, right? So this is going to be actually five columns. And remember, whenever we declare the size of a matrix, we always say the number of rows first and then the number of columns. So the matrix we're going to write is going to be a three by five matrix. So let me scroll down a bit to make more room and I'll rewrite the system of linear equations down here. So we know that our matrix is going to be three by five. So we're going to have three rows and we're going to have five columns. And I'll go ahead and list them here. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. But remember our fifth column is actually the column of all the constant terms on the right hand side. So all of these values right here, and we can actually plug those in right away. We have one, negative six. So column one is gonna correspond to all the coefficients of the x1 variable. Column two is gonna correspond to the coefficients of the x2 variable. Column three for the x3, and column four for the x4. And then finally, each one of these is going to represent the equation number. Equation number one, two, and three. So let's check out our one one element, which is right here. This is going to correspond to the first equation and the coefficient of x1, of the x1 term in that equation. So for equation one, the x1 coefficient is right here, it's three. So we're gonna put three right there. For element one, two, this is also gonna to correspond to the first equation, but we're gonna look at the coefficient for the x2 term, which is right here, it's negative two. For element one, three, we're gonna look at the coefficient for the x3 term in the first equation. And that's this coefficient right here, it's three. And then finally for the one, four term, we're gonna look at the coefficient for the x4 term in the first equation, which is this coefficient right here, it's negative six. So now let's move on to element two, one, which is this element right here. That's gonna to correspond to the coefficient of the x1 term in the second equation. Well, in the second equation, the coefficient for the x1 term is right here, it's two. Okay, how about two, two, element two, two? This is gonna to correspond to equation two and the coefficient of the x2 term for that equation. So if we look at equation two, we actually don't have an x2 term. Well, technically we do, but the coefficient for the x2 term is zero. So we're gonna place zero right there. And that makes sense, right? Because if I rewrote equation two down here, 
Equation two is simply two x one plus zero x two plus two x three plus two x four is equal to negative six, right? The coefficient for the x two term is zero, and that's why we put zero here. All right, so let's move on to the two three term, which is this term, this element right here. The 2, 3 term corresponds to the coefficient of the x3 term in the second equation. So in the second equation, the x3 term is this 2 right here. So we're going to put a 2 there. And then finally, our 2, 4 element is going to correspond to the coefficient of the x4 term in the second equation. That coefficient for the x4 term is right here. It's 2. It's positive 2, right? So cool, we've completed our second row. All right, so let's move on to our last row, which is row three, and we're gonna look at element three one. And three one corresponds to the coefficient of the x one term in the third equation. Well, if we look at the third equation, we don't actually see an x one. We also don't see an x three, but if we rewrote the equation, the equation is simply zero x one minus four x two plus 0x3 plus 3x4 is equal to 2, right? So the unknown variables technically are there, but their coefficients are 0, so they don't actually appear in the equation. So the coefficient of the x1 term in the third equation is 0. We're going to put 0 right there. OK, how about 3, 2, element 3, 2? And that corresponds to the coefficient of the x2 term in the third equation. Well, the x2 term, the coefficient for the x2 term is negative 4. So we're going to put negative 4 right there. And then element 3, 3 corresponds to the coefficient of x3 term in the third equation. And the coefficient for the x3 term is 0. And finally, our last element, which is 3, 4, corresponds to the coefficient of x4 in the third equation. So the coefficient of x4 is this 3 right here. So we're going to put 3 right there. And that's it. Our augmented matrix is now complete. So I'm going to rewrite this augmented matrix just for clarity. It's 3, 2, 0, negative 2, 0, negative 4, 3, 2, 0, negative 6, 2, 3, and 1, negative 6, 2. That is our augmented matrix for this system of linear equations.